Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf today at Cobra. I'm joined by Tom Olsofsky to talk a little bit about the Cobra Speed Zone Fairway Wood models uh, available in 2020. Uh, Cobra went with three models this year, a little bit different from uh, recent years, but I know uh, Tom has mentioned that they had some fun creating uh, all three models this year. So, Tom, let's get into that. I know, um, first, what was the philosophy behind getting three models this year as to opposed to maybe the last couple of years? One of the things we heard from a lot of players and, and two of our key staff players. Bryson and, and Lexi Thompson, they were still playing the LTD fairway wood from uh, 2015. So one of the things that was uh, pretty interesting, we asked, well, why do you play that? What do you use it for? How do you use it? Um, and the, the feedback was great. You know, it was a great product. We've also heard from the marketplace that LTD fairway wood was a real great club and well-reviewed, well-liked uh, in its time. And so one of the things we thought was with our modern designs, with the Baffler technology, we hadn't really replaced that style of golf club. It's a fairly strong playing club. Uh, if you remember back to the LTD, it was a front-weighted design. Uh, our standard uh, SD driver is a back-weighted design. So two different playabilities there. So that was one thing that we said, hey, we can do both models because we also want our top athletes to share in our technology benefits. And one of the things that we developed, the, the key technology story, uh, is really the split rails. So we have the split rail designs in both. And that split rail design, you could pretty easily see it here on the head, is really to create more flexibility. Uh, one of the things that rails do, and, and kind of every structural engineer in the world knows that when you put a rail on something or a rib, it stiffens it. Mm -hmm. So the physics of golf uh, that we found in the last 10, 15 years is we don't want these structures to be too stiff. We actually want it to be slightly flexible. Uh, and we think more about in the, in the realm of creating tennis racket style performance versus a sure. solid block of wood like the old persimmon days. So we're trying to build flexibility into both designs uh, so we get more speed. For sure. And so that's going to benefit the golfer that either wants a, a larger head with a front-weighted CG design uh, or a more traditional back-weighted design with the Baffler technology. And then for the sure. third model, which is you know what we call the Tour, that's actually the one we built for Ricky. Ricky loves rails uh, and it's got, you know, was kind of the impetus for us back in 2016 to bring back the Baffler technology. Uh, and that was, you know, really is from some playability. You know, he found that in many of those shots with a lofted fairy wood, he was maybe being not as aggressive as he wanted to or his coach wanted to. Uh, so they developed some rails because the rails allow you to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. And we know from studies that the Baffler technology allows you to be more aggressive through the shot because you retain more speed. It basically lessens the contact area because the rails help the club sit off the ground a little bit. So you don't have that whole sole impacting the ground. Our biggest challenge we see from golfers in fairway woods is usually because they don't really hit them that well. And the two misses they have are usually the first one is usually fat, <laughs> yeah. which means you're hitting behind the ball. Baffler technology will give you about three miles an hour more speed through the impact area when you hit it fat because you don't have all that contact area. For sure. The other one is usually you hit it thin and usually you hit it thin after you hit it fat because you don't want to hit it fat. Yeah. So the technology is really beneficial. And, and the way I talk with people, I said, when you think about a fairway club, um, yes, baffler technology works great out of bad lies, but it actually works much better out of fairway lies because you have to be more critical on that shot. Mm -hmm. When we're in the rough, it's our shot out of the rough. You know, we're not going to be that precise. We can't be that precise, especially if you're a long way out and you're taking a fairway wood. So uh, the baffler technology combined with the multiple models really gives us a great mm -hmm. offering for the King Speed Zone. Absolutely. And let's get into kind of the differences. I know that there's obviously shaping differences between the, the three models, but also uh, standard loft differences between the three mm -hmm. and obviously playability as well. So let's get into those. There's a, a Cobra Speed Zone, um, Speed Zone Tour, and then the Big Tour as well. Yeah, I, I guess I'll start with the, the Speed Zone, which is our standard middle of the market club that uh, is a great performer and has a lot more speed mm -hmm. than last year. Um, that's kind of in the standard lofts, uh, three, five, seven models, um, you know, to 14.5 kind of a, as a nominal. So it's right in the, the sweet spot of what the market needs when you talk about mm -hmm. three wood. If you get to the big tour, it's really nominalized around a 13.5. So it's a little bit stronger. Um, that's for the players who definitely want to keep that flight maybe from spinning too much. Uh, they also tend to probably use it off the tee fairly often, so you don't want a lot of spin off the tee. So it's a little bit stronger loft. Again, I mentioned the differences before. Front weighting, which knocks off spin and play, sure. versus back weighting, which adds some playability and forgiveness. So that's the two main differences. These two are about the same address size. Um, so that's the one thing that we, you know, last year with the, the King F9, we had our standard and the Tour, and there were a lot of people who said, hey, I, I actually want the playability of the Tour, but in the size of the standard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So it was pretty easy from a product architecture to say, hey, we could create that. We know how to make that 
in the LTD type products. So that works really good. When we get to the tour, the tour is that compact design. And Ricky loves that compact design. He's played it for years. Uh, every year when we go to talk to him about, hey, what do you want new in your fairway? He says, don't change the shape. Just don't change it. It's great. I love it. So we don't change the shape. Uh, but that's that compact profile that some of the better players out there really love. Uh, it's very workable. It's very playable. You know, when you think about some of these rough shots, uh, if you're going to get in there with a five wood type club, you actually want a little more compact head. So um, that helps. You know, it does have the baffler technology in there. And so great benefits for players who love that traditional style compact head. We're really excited about the, the speed zone fairways. More performance than last year um, with that split rail technology. So there's more speed, that's more launch and, and, and the right ball flight. And the third option of the mm -hmm. big tour, we think, is going to be yeah. pretty exciting out there in the market. Absolutely. Well, Tom, thank you for joining us today and spending some time with us, giving us some info on the Cobra Speed Zone fairways, uh, three different models available in 2020, surely to fit uh, any golfer out there.